go through that one until I could get to the second one until I get to the third one. So, um, I just started doing that one, and then, like, I don't know, maybe six months later after playing, not six months later when I bought it, but six months later, like, at playing, like, game time-wise, I actually found out what the skill trees were, but I didn't bother changing it, because I was used to being a balanced druid. Um, so yeah, I don't really shapeshift much. I mean, well, now I do. I shapeshift into, um, moonkin form, but besides that, I don't really shapeshift too much. Um, like, I mean, the most that I did was during a dungeon, or while I was inside of an area, I would shapeshift into cat form and then use the, um, short little boost of speed, because I was impatient, and I wouldn't allow myself to just walk. I had to go through it faster. And, um, I shapeshift into the, um, travel form. If I'm, like, in a rush, like, if I'm running away from something, shapeshifting into travel form is... I mean, I don't know anymore. I haven't been on my druid since Cataclysm came out. So, um, I'm hoping that travel form is still an insta-cast. Um, like, I would shapeshift, shapeshift into that, because it was an insta-cast, I don't know if it still is, to, um, just escape, to escape, like, I would go into shadow form, and then I'd go, um, into travel form and run away, because it was a lot faster. And, wait, actually, I have been on my druid since Cataclysm came out, because I just remembered, like, a few days ago, I, um, bought my license to be able to fly, and, um, the main area, Eastern Kingdoms and Kalimdor. I could already fly in the Outlands, so I didn't have to, so I already had a flying mount. So now I just have to get cold weather flying, but that's hugely expensive. And then, like, it's 4,500 gold or something like that to get artisan flying, or artisan riding. I think it's called that. It's insanely expensive. I only have, um, like, 50 gold left over from buying the, um, th um, flying license. I know I'm just talking about random stuff now. Um, feel free to end the video if you haven't already. If you don't, like, want to listen to this, I'm fine with it. Um, <coughs> what's this one called? Fight or flight. Uh, these are taking quite a while now. Um, well, um, I have, uh, sorry. I have, um, an unlimited time limit now, so I might just make a complete video for each level. So, like, this will be 20 minute, 24 minutes, such and such. Um. So yeah, I don't have very much gold. I'm going to have to do dungeons. Um, I really don't like doing dungeons on my um, druid. It just doesn't. I don't know. I just don't really have fun doing them on my druid. Um. See, so yeah, I might just end up doing a bunch of quests or something to gain the gold back that I lost. Well, lost. I didn't lose it. I spent it. I mean, I was really contemplating whether or not to actually buy it, because I knew I'd barely have any gold left over, and I was just like, do I really want to do it? I don't know. I mean, then I was thinking to myself, you know, I barely ever get on this, on this one. It's, um, wait, hold on. Hold on. I'm an idiot. I am a complete idiot. Uh, that just, that kind of shows how tired I am. I'm not thinking as well as I usually do. And I don't think very well, usually. Um, it's my death knight <laughs> that I got flying on. My druid is not high enough level. Um, a lot of you probably caught that when I said my druid is level 55 earlier. I'm pretty sure I said that. Um, yeah, my death knight's level 71. That's the only character that can fly. That's the one that has, like, 50 gold. Um, I think my druid only has, like, 50 gold, but it's only level 55, so it's not as huge of a deal. Um, so, um, uh, sorry. <sighs> uh. So yeah, I bought it, and I was really contemplating, but I, I never go on that realm anymore, because I don't have anyone on that realm anymore that ever gets on. Um, so I just bought it for the hell of it, because it, it's the only character that I'll be able to have for quite some time that can, um, fly. 
that I'll be able to fly in um, Galnor and Eastern Kingdoms, and I thought I might as well take advantage of it. So the very first thing I did was, um, I tried this before, like whenever I first got, um, I did something very similar to this before, whenever I first got, um, the ability to walk on water as my death knight. It was the first time I could walk on water before. So, the first thing I did is is try and ride from Darkshore to T um, Teldrassil. That's how I pronounce it. Um, and I actually succeeded, but I died like three times in, on the way there. Like, I rode there, and then I popped up on a um, graveyard, I think they're called, um, on Teldrassil. So I f and I was really close to the shoreline of... Um, the dock area there. I forgot what the I can't I can never remember the na the name of the um place. So like I it was um I was near the sh I was near there but I was still f too far away to like gain the fatigue back. So um I went out there in wisp form and since it's seventy five percent faster than um normal speed I got there and I didn't lose as much fatigue as I usually would I think. I really don't understand the fatigue bar all that well. Um, so I got there, and I started, then I turned on the frost thing again, I got on my mount, and I got just a little bit closer. And I kept doing that, I did like maybe one or two more times, and then I finally got there. And I felt so accomplished. And then ne um, whenever I got flying, I tried it with flying, not from Darkshore to Teldrassil, because I, I hate Darkshore. I went on a little rant about this on my Zellix 5 channel. I hate what they did to Darkshore, it's just wrecked. The Darkshore is my favorite place. And Teldrassil, whenever they ruined it, I just got, I got pissed. I mean, Teldrassil isn't ruined, really. I mean, just that one city place. Um, but I, I got pissed whenever they destroyed Darkshore. I was just, I was furious. Well, I mean, not furious and pissed, like I wasn't yelling at my screen. I was just, like, walking around going, no, no, fix it, like, no louder than that. I was just doing that. I was walking around, and it was like on. I think it was on a Tuesday before the before like realm maintenance or something. So I had like five minutes. I think it was before school too. Um, I was just walking around. I was like, no, no, you will fix this. No, you will change it back. I was. I just really hated it. I mean, I wasn't like as I said. I wasn't screaming at my computer, bashing it everywhere or anything. I was just like. Calmly, I don't know what it, that would that be calm. I was just like going, no, no, you will fix it now, and it was just like I was giving my, I was giving Blizzard a talk through my computer. I don't know. Um, I was just being weird, but like I just hate what they did. I mean, it has a neat story behind it, and I really like that. But I mean, just I love the way that it looked. Like um, kind of like how I said that I don't do that. I don't focus on leveling. I like to enjoy myself on the game, and part of that is just relaxing in areas. Like, um, there were only two areas that I liked, and of course both of them were Night Elf areas, and I don't, I don't remember exactly what the other area was called, I just know what it looks like. It was like, it was near a horde area, um, it was like, there was an edge of a desert, and then into a huge, huge rainforested area. Like, there was so much greenery everywhere, um, and like, there was a border, on one side of the border was just like complete desert, on the other side it was just like a huge rainforested area. I think it was like for level... I don't know. I really don't know. But it, it was just awesome whenever I got out there. It was just awesome, as I said. But um, I still like Darkshore more because it it's just, it's a low level place that I can get to easily. Could get to easily. I My Hearthstone was set there most of the time. Um, unless I was, like, doing a major quest line or something, and I would set it to there, but I would always end up setting it back to Darkshore, and I just love Darkshore, just the way that it looked and everything. And now there's, like, corrupt this, corrupt that, evil things, big tornado thing coming out of the ground, big swirling whirlpool, and it, it's interesting, all of it's interesting, it's all very interesting, it, it's all very cool, but, I mean, it's just not the Darkshore that I knew. Darkshore is just ravaged, and it's awful. So I'm, um, I'm hoping that the new underwater area will be my favorite area, but that's gonna be awful to get to. I mean, really, it's gonna take forever to be able to get there, because, I mean, 
I love water um, in games. I like if I had to have all of the graphics down all the way. If, like if I could choose one graphic setting to have all the way up, like one graphic um um area, I guess it would be water. Like having the like if I could have the highest level reflections and highest level wa like just the highest level everything for water graphics that I would love that um but I can't my computer's not good enough for that um cuz I I don't know why I just really love water in games and I really love water in real life too um so I mean it's just I it, it's, it's I know it's going to be like my new favorite area or one of them but it's just going to be hell to get to. It's gonna take so long to be able to get to it that it's might as well not be my favorite area. I need like I I need to have an area that I can go to every once in a while that I can get to pretty easily to just relax in. I do that on games sometimes. Like I thought this was going to end up being one of those games, but it's not, obviously. It's a combat game. Combat ish game. Um so, I mean, like, World of Warcraft, the scenery is just awesome. I mean, I could go to Oblivion. Oblivion has awesome graphics. But it's just not the kind of stuff that I like. Like, um, Darkshore. I love Darkshore because there was tons of water. It was a freaking shore. That's why it's called Darkshore. And it was slightly gloomy, which I, which I do like. I like, um, things that some people might find depressing, like music and such. I enjoy it. Um, well, not anymore, but that, that's, that's another story that I probably won't be sharing ever. Um, so yeah, like, I mean, I, I really enjoyed Dark Shore. It was nice, it was slightly depressing, it kind of was a little dark, but it, of course, it's called Dark Shore. But it was, it was really nice. I loved it. And now it's just awful and ravaged, and I, whenever I look at it, I can't help but think of the Outlands, and I really don't like the Outlands that much. The, I, I love the sky in the Outlands. The Outlands sky is awesome. I could stare at it for hours. But besides that, it's just a ravaged land that I really don't like that much. I mean, there is, like, part of the land that isn't all ravaged, but it's still in a ravaged land, basically, I think. I don't know, whatever. I, I just don't like the Outlands all that much, scenery-wise. Um, so, I mean, I really have no other area that I can think of that I could get to really easily. I mean, the Draini, 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 I call them Draini. Um, the Draini areas kind of look somewhat similar to Darkshore, but, I mean, it just seems... The islands are so... Like, I mean, the two starter islands. Well, I mean, the... I guess the first island that you start out in, not the second one, it's too red. Um, the first one, I mean, it, it just, it's too crowded for me. There's too many, um, things. There's, like, you turn a corner and you see, like, a stag or a, what are they, threshers or whatever, they're those, like, vine flower things. You just, like, you turn a corner and you either see a monster, or a human, or a Draenei, 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 whatever. And it's just, like, it's way too crowded. I don't, I don't like it. Um, in Darkshore there were some secluded places, and even whenever it wasn't secluded, like, the Night Elf, I like the Night Elf, um, way that things are set up in Night Elf areas a lot. Because they seem to, like, blend in with the surroundings to me. And, um, then I was thinking maybe Ashenvale, um, the main city in Ashenvale, but then I go there and it's freaking on fire, so I can't have Ashenvale, because, I mean, that's a fairly low-level area that I, you could get to pretty easily, but no, it's freaking on fire now, so I can't go there, so it's just, like, every, everything that I liked was get, is getting, like, destroyed, and I hate it. So, I mean, there's really no area that I can think of, as I've said, that I can go to anymore. Um, no, I'm not going to ask you to like say an area or something. Like I'm, I'm going to try and find my own. I'm just saying that I'm not very happy about the whole destroying things. I mean, I like that they destroyed 
things that are pretty huge, like Dark Shores, basically like a port, like, well, yeah, it was a port, of course, but it was like, kind of like a hub area, I think, um, like it connected Eastern Kingdom to Kalimdor pretty, like, you could get there really easily, it's a really early on place, and now they moved it to Teldrassil, and for whatever reason, in Teldrassil, there's a random dock that goes nowhere. The boat goes nowhere. You can get on it, you can stay there for hours, and it does not go anywhere. There's What's the point in it? Like, I spent a good, like, 15 minutes with someone else I didn't even know. We were both trying to find our way to get to Dark Shore, and then finally I found out that you have to fly there. I mean, really, it's just... That boat needs to go somewhere. But anyway, um, like, Dark Shore was a nice place. It looked nice. The monsters were pretty nice. Um, and, like, just the monsters are completely changed now as well. Um, like, there used to be a group of murlocs, I think they're called. Those, like, fish people things. And they are, like, huddled around, like, a giant sea creature that's dead. And they're not there anymore. And I remember I'd always hate them. I would try and, like, sneak my way around them, but one would end up spotting me, so the whole group would end up running after me. And all I was trying to do was get past them, get around them. And I hated it, sure, but, I mean, that was part of the game. And, like, all the quests now, all the f beginning quests, are just awfully, awfully easy. This has become into a World of Warcraft discussion, but I don't care. Um, it's entertaining me. Um, all the beginning quests are just awfully, awfully easy, like, um, the Relics of Awakening, whenever, whenever I accepted that quest, I was just like, oh, I'm gonna hate this quest, so I tried to hold it off as long as possible, and then when I got there, they give you a freaking Huntress to help you with it, and I was like, really? Really? I mean, I know I hated the quest, and I was dreading doing it, but now it's just way too easy. I mean, seriously, she kills everything for you. Um, she tells you exactly where everything is, like, she gives you a fog that shows where everything is, you don't really, you don't have to go find anything yourself anymore. And it's just, I mean, of course I used it, that's how I know about it, because, I mean, I'm going to use it, it's a quest that I don't really like all that much. Um, and they're giving, they're giving me the chance to get free experience without doing anything, I mean, seriously, why not accept it? But, I mean, I hate it. I, as I said, I'm not going to pass up the offer, it's, an, it's a good offer, it's like, um, you hate rich people, but someone offers you a million dollars, are you going to decline it? I mean, really, no. Um, so, I mean, I, of course, accepted the offer for the Huntress, like, I think you have to talk to them first, because I didn't have one for quite a while, and I ended up running across someone who had two, so I ended up stealing one from him. <laughs> He had two. I um, one of them was a um, one of one was attacking someone else. One was just standing beside him, but it was following him whenever he walked around. So I just talked to her and got her to follow me. So it, I just I stole it. Um. So I mean, it's just it's so easy, and there's so few quests um in the starter city or town, I guess, in Teldrassil, and they and like in one of them. Um, you have to, like, kill such and such number of, um, webwood lurkers, I think they're called, maybe. I don't know, you have to, like, kill such and such number, or you have to defeat the boss. Or, I don't know, I think there's something involving going to that cave, and you do something there. And after you finish that, it freaking teleports you back to the person in between the twin ponds. And you don't have to do, and there isn't the quest anymore to get the anti to give the antidote to, um... Some, well, some sort of antidote or, um, like for poison that some guy has. He's, like, in a little crevice right next to the, um, cave. You have to, like, get such and such number of mushrooms and pond lilies or something. The flowers around the twin ponds, um, near the great tree place. And, um, you also have to get, like, fell cones, maybe that's, I think that's for a different quest, actually. I don't know, you have to get, like, a certain amount of great ingredients, and then you give them to a cook, um, the cook trainer, the cooking trainer, then you have to, you have, like, such and such amount of time to go over the, to walk over there. You don't get teleported or anything, of course, you're timed, because you're timed, but you have, you have plenty of time to do it, though. You don't, you have to, ah, you have to walk over there and give it to him, 
And, but now that quest isn't even available, there's like, they have the number of quests, it seems. And like, cause usually whenever I finish, um, Teldrassil, I was like level 15. This time when I finished it, I was level 10. I was like, what? No, it was just, it's so much that they changed. They made it so much new friendly. I mean, it was easy enough as it was. I mean, of course, whenever I first played, um, this is a funny story to me, actually. Um, whenever I died, one, I died a few times, actually. I didn't know that you could go back to your corpse and respawn there, so I always respawned at the graveyard, and I was like, really? 25%? This is cheap. And then, um, once I died, and I was near, I was close enough to Dar Darnassus, I pronounced it Darnassus, I think it's supposed to be pronounced Darnassus. Um, so I, I was close enough to Darnassus. And I respawned there, and I was like, whoa, I think I'm on a different continent. Because, like, whenever you open up the map, you I didn't know about zooming out. So, like, the map was completely different. I only saw the Darnassus map. So I was just like, I have to be on a different continent. And I was just like, I was so proud of myself. I was like, somehow I got to a different continent. continent. I don't know how I got to a different island. This is awesome. But I didn't. <laughs> but, I mean, still, it was awesome. Like, it... It was so different than what I was used to in Teldrassil, and it, it was just awesome. And, I mean, that way of learning things, I like that. But now, it's just like they tell you everything. Well, I mean, even then, I didn't read anything that they told me. Um, I didn't read the quests or anything. I just, like, did what it said. Like, I went to my quest that said, kill such and such amount kill such and such amount of such and such so I went over and killed that amount of that and I like are collecting whatever of whatever go talking going and talking to whoever in wherever at whatever place and I would just do that and it was and I wouldn't pay attention to anything because I didn't feel like it and even whenever the hints came up I like read a few then I got bored of them and I just closed all the hints because you know how there used to be like hints that popped up. I don't know if they still have those or not. <sighs> oh, I'm yawning so much. Um. So yeah, I just did that, and um, it was it was a really fun way of learning things. Now it's just like if I were to play if if this were my first time to play, I probably wouldn't play the game. It I'd probably think it was too easy. Well now. Back then, I prob I thought it was too hard whenever I first started playing. Now, I think the, the way that it's become for the beginning stuff is way too easy. That it, it should I don't think they should have changed it. I don't see how they could have really gotten too many complaints about the way that it was. But, um, yeah, I'm pretty sure I've skipped a few sentences um, during talking, period, whether it's about Euphoria or not. And I'm yawning again. <sighs> ah, sorry about that. I'm not gonna mute it. I really don't care. Um. So yeah, I'm extremely tired. It's 4:30. I'm going to stop talking about World of Warcraft. I will post this probably in like half an hour. I mean, it's 4:30 my time. I don't know what time it is for you. Um. So I'm posting in like half an hour probably be like 5, might end up being 5.30, might end up passing out my chair and posting them tomorrow, I really don't know, um, so, yeah, that's it for you, Floria, and my rant on World of Warcraft, and I, again, I really encourage you to post comments, just, I mean, good comments, not just like, this video sucks. Like, I mean, if you think the video is awful, say why you think it's awful. Like, post something that will help. Or something that will... I mean, encouragement helps, too. Post something that will help. Like, I don't like this video because you did blank, or because it looks like blank, or because you did this instead of this, or whatever. Or, I really like this video because you did this and this and this. Or just, I really like this video. That's fine. It's encouragement. Either way, you don't have to put something exactly for why you think it's good. You think it's good. That's great. I mean, it would be good to say why you think it's good, and then I can 
kind of read between the lines and be like, you didn't talk about this, so maybe that's bad, and I can, like, fix that. So, I mean, just, like, post comments that will be productive or somewhat encouraging or something. Don't just comment to comment, like, say, first or whatever. Like, just nothing negative unless you have something to support it. Like, I don't know. You're m you talk too quietly. Maybe you should increase the volume on your microphone, or you talk too loud. Maybe you should decrease the volume on your microphone, or you, or maybe, I hate you, Floria. It's not exciting enough. You should stop it. Or you should do this to make it more entertaining. Or, I don't know. Maybe like you should do this game instead of this game, or you should do this game after this game, or you should do this game while doing this game, or something. Just something that is somewhat good that won't just make me end up going into a deep depression because everyone hates my videos and not posting any and like just posting sad little poems everywhere because I used to make poems by the way um I'll talk about that real quick uh, um, um if, if you go on my Zellix 5 channel um I think I have still have that as my background um you'll see in the background a poem and I actually wrote the poem myself and um, I posted it on DeviantArt like a year ago but I ended up losing all my friends on DeviantArt because I'm not good at keeping friends on social networking sites so um yeah I just took that from there and I found a um, old parchment um, picture on Google and I used GIMP2 which is a um, art thing, an art program thing. It's free, by the way. Um, and I just copied and pasted the parchment thing, and then I used, um, tried to find as old style text as I could, or just like I don't know. It was really late whenever I did it, so I wasn't like, but I was really enthused about it. So I really wanted, so I really did it, or I really wanted to do it, so I did it. And I might end up making that the background on my Mitchell 11678 channel now. Um, I actually probably will, because I, I really felt um, like I accomplished something that day when I did it, or that night, I guess I should say. Um, so, I mean, yeah. Go on there, you can tr attempt at reading it. I'm not going to link you to it, because frankly, I'm slightly embarrassed about it. Um, I, like, I just wrote poems. Not because I was depressed, just because they randomly came to me. And then I lo they didn't come to me anymore, and I couldn't think of any poems, so I just stopped posting stuff, and then people stopped commenting. And then slowly people stopped talking to me, and such and such. It doesn't matter. Um, and that was all while I was on YouTube, actually. I just never said anything about it. Um, so yeah, you can go there and attempt to read it, and stuff. If it's still in the background, I'm not certain. I thought I think it is. I haven't changed my background as far as I can remember. Um, so yeah, that's it. Um, post comments, preferably non-hateful ones, but I'm bound to end up getting some. Well, actually, I'm bound to end up getting none. But I don't know. I guess a hateful comment's better than no comments. Maybe I don't know. So. Yeah, that's it. See you later. I don't know when. <laughs> yes, because I schedule these things very well. Can't you tell? Um, no, I, I, I'll, I won't see you at all, actually. Um, I will make another video and post it later. Probably not of you, Floria. I don't know. I really don't know. I really, 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 really want to do that World of Warcraft thing, but I, again, um, I don't want to do it if people don't want to see it. I don't want to do it and have, like, only five of my subscribers actually watch it and be entertained. Um, I wouldn't mind drawing a crowd from the World of Warcraft community over to my channel, because, I mean, it would be a nice change, because I am, the majority of you probably are here only for Minecraft. I'm, I, I've said this before, I'm going to say it again, I'm not a Minecraft channel. I 
not going to be a Minecraft cha only channel, and I never will make a Minecraft only channel. I am never going to stick to one game on anything. I can't do that. World of Warcraft is the closest that I can come to sticking to one game, and even then I get bored and go on a hiatus for months. The longest it's been is two months, actually. The longest I've gone without paying for a subscription on World of Warcraft has been two months, besides whenever I had the trial account. Because there was six months between buying it and having the trial. So, um... Yeah, I'm I'm never going to be a purely Minecraft channel. I'm never going to be purely World of Warcraft. Never purely Minor Wars, Euphoria, Oblivion, Guild Wars, Sims 3, Fate, StarCraft 2. Now I'm just naming off games that I see on my desktop. Um, I'm never going to be a purely anything channel except maybe... No, I'm never going to be purely anything channel. One day I might decide to do... I don't know. Actually, I guess I'm going to be a purely Let's Play channel, but besides that, yeah. Well, whatever. Um, so yeah, I'll be posting a video eventually after this one, hopefully within a week. <laughs> I really don't know. Um, so yeah, but...